Don't take your lyrics to the dog man. Won't take a surfer to the snow bubble. No, no. Don't take your lyrics. Don't take your lyrics to the. Yeah, we're gonna go in on that one. Yeah. Now you get into the jam. Don't take your lyrics to the dog man. Won't take a surfer to the snow. Well, what you could do is, you wouldn't take a surfer to the snow. Why don't you do it, you know, change the lyric yeah. around. Don't take your lyrics to the long man. You wouldn't take a surfer to the snow. Now there's a place for everything, and for everything. There's a place for it to go. This is a rock and roll band, the Skyhooks, in Melbourne. In 1975, going on album sales, they were Australia's most successful pop musicians. Since then, they've suffered a drop in popularity. In 1976, they were out of the country for some time, on tour in America. While they were away, other groups filled the gap. Moreover, an album they made at that time didn't sell well. Now, in an attempt to ensure that their next album doesn't meet the same fate, they're flown out an up-and-coming American record producer, Eddie Leonetti. I think that they wanted me uh, to work with them because they, they felt that they might really benefit from, you know, an American, uh, the United States sort of vantage point to rock and roll as opposed to Australian or something else. An hour after he'd arrived at Tullamarine, Leonetti was with the band at this North Melbourne studio, starting five days of intensive rehearsal. I get involved in what I call pre-production. All right, pre-production is simply going in and rehearsing with the band. And that's where you sort out the songs. That's where you decide what chord changes you want. That's wh where you're going to decide what guitar is going to be playing what, what, what's the drummer going to do. And you may rewrite the song. You may change it very little. Uh, you may take two songs and, and put them together as one. You may take one song and make it four songs. Uh, a lot of things happen, but you work it all out in rehearsal, pre-production. You don't do all the experimenting in the studio. Bad, not bad. That wasn't not bad. That one. Uh, I think nice that she be a little, little more confident at the very end. Don't just, don't just yeah. fade out. Don't go out to nothing. You know, it's, it's an end. Make it an end. You, know? you, you should have been out here in a half guy. We're real confident. Then we're real big. We're not big anymore. <laughs> we, our egos are deflated. And, you know, cost of living has gone up. Higher PAs is real expensive. Now. It's your priorities. You know, if you, if, you, yeah, if, you bring, if your priorities go to the sea and surfing, you know, <laughs> then you lose perspective. <laughs> that costs nothing to hire a wife. Doesn't cost nothing to hire a wife? <laughs> you're learning, you're learning, you're getting there real well. Call in the army, buy a politician, promise anything. All right, I like the sound of it. Well, let me ask you something. Um, just that little thing with singing. Oh, uh, yeah, well, you don't have to. You can use that if you want to. You don't yeah, have I sort of like that. I don't know, yeah. I'm trying to figure out where we work it in. You know that part with the singing? Ooh, make a That's Ooh. Yeah, for what it, can we get it in there somehow or other? You know, if B, E, D, M, how do you say it? Uh, the word, the pronunciation on most of this stuff to me is yeah. completely foreign, but that's Idiot, okay. Well, E, D, M, in, you know. Yeah, but I mean, uh, Big Black. You, see, that's, so this song is the a big rip, black. This, this is a ripoff of Montego Bay. Singing. No offense, man. <laughs> Nearly all the music and lyrics performed by Skyhooks are written and arranged by the group's bass player, Greg McCainch, who also founded the group in 1971. Greg has his own ideas on the role of the record producer. He'll, he'll make a suggestion and the band will, will talk about it and we'll try it, you know. Uh, and if, if we're happy with it, well, 
will we'll do that or what happens is he'll make a suggestion which leads to another suggestion by someone else and uh, you know he um, can sort of mediate between the whole the whole thing and it'll uh, it'll come out you know differently but hopefully a lot better yeah I know but what happens here there's a little bit of Adolf Adolf. Well, every way you're going to say it, but I want you got to sort of stop for a second to get that out. You know, there's a little bit of Adolf like, everyone. I also like Adolf because that's what Lenny Bruce said it. Adolf, okay. There's a little bit of Adolf. Yeah, do and it that way. Everyone. You got to act that out. And the it? hand that holds the whip sometimes is all the fun. No, keep on going for a second because now what are you saying? There's a. Yeah, this one's a f right. dicky line. Yeah. Sorry, this, this one's a dicky line. I <laughs> so think they'll be able to repeat that. Desire, you should, should, should do that. So my desire. Well, say, sing the way you sing it, because I didn't understand. There's a desire hidden somewhere. There's, yeah, there's... Desire. I think there's a de should say desire. There's a... How do you say a desire? Yeah, mm. desire. Yeah, so can't you get up to on top of it? There's a desire. There's a desire. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how about just a, a hidden desire somewhere or something like that, if you change it around mm. a little bit? Mm. How about... There's a hidden desire somewhere that wants to rock the earth. There's a hidden desire. Yeah. Well, how that about... wants to rock the some, earth. What about somewhere that there's, somewhere? Yeah, somewhere there's a... Somewhere <laughs> there's... <laughs> No. no, somewhere, no, no. no. Just a desire, uh, a hidden desire would be better. You There's a get, hidden yeah. desire that um, wants to rock the earth. Um, you need somewhere? No. There's a desire hidden somewhere. That's where it gets twisted. Yeah, there's a desire. It just sounds weird. Yeah. It doesn't flow. Does. And you can't understand it at all. Sounds. dedicate this song to a uh, Joe Bielke Peterson when we do it on stage, which seems to go down well for some reason. Uh, but, uh, yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's got lots of overtones in Australia, and Australia's really political, politically active country these days. <laughs> By my uh, classification, I'm in the position to pull rank, and I don't think I should just pull rank. You should work it out where it's some sort of democratic kind of uh, approach, and uh, the ego thing comes into it, where where you just don't want you want to work with the person, understand them enough, and then you deal with it and see whether or not his ego is going to be too hard to deal with. If they're really dead set on something, and I think it's absurd, uh, you know, that can, there can be fights at times. Not the kind of fights where, you know, not bad, not we're not going to speak to each other for three days, but we'll probably get into a heavy discussion. We'll probably eventually, if he keeps on saying it, go the way that, uh, let's say, he wants to do it, and then we'll see whether it's right or not. And I'll give him a big, I told you so, after it doesn't work out. Whatever your approach was, you know, those da -da -da, they were working. There was a pattern you could hear that got through. This one got a little a bit too jazzy, um, <laughs> avant-garde, as it were. Avant-garde? Um, so that got a little crazy. And then the other little non-tightness in the band is, is the thing. Yeah. Uh, the speed was good, though. See, now we're not now we're not racing on yeah. to finish the song. Yeah, that's... I'm it's, sort of concentrating on the speed and losing... Yeah, all right, well... Need well, to pick the up the fills now. Yeah, right. And don't worry about... Don't think about that part until, it com until you come to it, because we get the rest of the song right, you know? After technical problems in Melbourne, the whole operation was moved at short notice to this Sydney studio. Here, the lead vocal and extra guitar solos were recorded. On 
That song is sort of short and sweet. It's messagey, but there, there's a tremendous amount of, um, well, I don't know, I just like this, the whole setup. The whole setup on, on um, Life in the Modern World with the verses is really interesting. The way, you know, the way it reads with the line, headline, breadline, so forth. And um, so that kind of really good lyric, really intelligent, you know, uh, uh, sort of lyric in, in a heavy metal song is real nice. We got pocket calculators. We got cybernetic refrigerators. We got men on the moon. We got your padded room. We got tax exiles. We got C2M missiles. We got nuclear power. We got the Catholic hour. We got Okay, you want to come in and have a listen? You got enough? Yeah, I think so. Put in your velvet, it'll go out in mist. You want to wash, he better change your dress. You that's been dry or all the blue, blue, blue. Call your friends, not try to be the peach. Don't take your lyrics to the lonely man. I'll tell you, brother. Don't take your new rags to the laundry mat. If your suit's all dirty, then I'm sorry about that. Don't take your new rags to the laundry mat. Or take her surfer to the snow. Well, well, no, no. Now there's a place for everything. And for everything, there's a place for it to go. What well, take a blind man? To the snow, oh, 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 no. don't take your lyrics to the Lord of Mankind. That's not the place, the place for it to go. When I was living in St Kilda, I always, I always used to go to the laundromat. Uh, you know, sort of weekly occurrence for, for me and for millions of other people, I guess. Uh, uh, I don't know. That was sort of a sense of this because uh, I used to wear lots. Still do wear lots of uh, funny sort of stage clothes and so on, and to get them clean is, cleaned is quite a. Uh, well, you, I mean, you have to go to the dry cleaners and, and do all that sort of stuff. You can't just throw them in with your jeans. The message, I mean, you know, as far as Lurex is concerned, uh, if they're going to chant something like the warning of you can't really trust, you know, modern technology, Texan kind of accent, whatever it is. So don't take your Lurex to the along the back. I'll tell you, brother, that's not where it's at. Don't take your new rags to the laundry mat. Let your suits all dirty, then I'm sorry about that. Let your suits all dirty, then I'm sorry about that. Let your suits all dirty, then I'm sorry about that. One, two, three, four.